Hello, my name is Dr. Charles Cairns. I am the Walter and Leonore Annenberg Dean of the College of Medicine and Senior Vice President for Medical Affairs at Drexel University. Today, I wanted to talk to you about COVID-19 antibody testing. COVID-19 antibody testing has been in the news recently, given the proposed policies of the UK, German, and Italian governments to use antibody testing to determine who's immune to the virus and who can go safely back to work. However, the science behind this testing strategy is still in evolution. The premise is this, is that once you've been infected by the COVID-19 virus, then your body will mount an immune response. That immune response includes the production of antibodies. The first type of antibody to be found is IgM and typically is detected within nine days of infection. The second type is IgG and some reports suggest it can show up as early as 14 days after a COVID-19 infection. Therefore, if you were to test someone who's been exposed to the COVID-19 virus and developed an immune response, then you should be able to detect antibodies in their blood. However, the challenge is, is it's clear that people don't respond to the virus in the same way. We know that some people have symptoms that are mild or non-existent and have infection. And we know others have severe symptoms, develop pneumonia and even die. So clearly there's a difference in terms of the immune response to COVID-19, which might impact the development of antibodies or the detection of antibodies over time. In addition, we know that there are big differences in terms of age, with older people being more susceptible to COVID infection and the consequences, including death, than younger people, especially children. In addition, there appear to be geographical differences, suggesting there might be a genetic component or that other populations have been exposed to coronaviruses that might confer protection. So I think we need to better understand the variation in immune responses across people in order to determine who's immune. The second key issue with COVID antibody testing is that we need to look at the accuracy of the test itself. The test needs to be able to detect those antibodies that are neutralizing antibodies, the antibodies that actually bind to the virus and keep it from infecting cells. In addition, we need to know the test characteristics of the technology used for the test. In other words, the sensitivity of the test in being able to detect antibodies that are there, as well as the specificity of being able to determine if you don't find antibodies that they weren't there or that the antibodies that you detected are those associated with neutralizing antibodies to COVID-19. So I think we need to understand better the immune response of populations to COVID-19, as well as the test characteristics for accuracy of the technology used. Nonetheless, this is a very interesting opportunity for us to better understand the COVID-19 infection, as well as come up with strategies to help our populations respond. Thank you so much for listening. Stay safe out there.